<laughs> yes, thank you, Mecca. Is it Mecca? E Mecca? And Mecca. And Mecca. Is that yes. right? Yes, yes. And we still have, but we're here. <laughs> we are here, and you are here. You are going to be here, because we still have 14 seconds. 14. 12. So when we start, when we start, we're just going to be ourselves. And yes, we're yes, yes. Okay. You're going to have you introduce yourself, because you know you better than I do. Four, three, uh, supposedly. Two, at least. Four, three. Yes, yes. Thank you for joining us for AHA. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> and we have. Someone who's going to introduce himself, a friend of mine, who goes by the name of Charlie Strauss, at least to me, but we'll hear how he presents himself. <laughs> He's a myself. therapist. He knows these things. He's going to do, watch, watch, watch. Hi. Um, yeah. Thanks, Michael, for having me on. Um, so my name is Charlie Strauss, and I'm a psychotherapist. Um, I have a private practice in Arlington and Central Square, actually, right where this is being filmed not down, far down the street, and I specialize in my therapy practice in working with kids and adults um, across the range of sexuality and gender, and that's relevant to what we're going to do tonight, right? Could someone come who's just regular, yeah, of straight, course. and say, I'm having trouble with, what's, what is this all about, this sexual stuff, and what do I do, and, and <laughs> I'd like someone, and I'm 13, and, and should, we, should we be the guest, what do yeah. you, are you help them with that? Sure, sure, and I'll see people where it has nothing to do with sexuality and gender, too, but that's just what I'm generally, you know, that's what I'm a specialist in. So can I be, we talked about role playing, can I be, just be that 13 year old for a moment, just to hear what you'd say? Sure. Okay, so I'm a 13 year old boy. And, and we've never met, but your parents brought you in. And yes, yes, okay. and, and they, sa they said you would help me. And I'm confused about this sex stuff. What, sh you know, should I kiss someone I like? Should I, you know, they say these words, these not nice words that I don't know if I could share with you, but it's, you know, that what, do I, what, what should I do? With this, I, I, I like touching people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I, and I sometimes want to kiss them. Mm. Yes, or, or more, or mm -hmm. I, and my parents say, they don't say zilch, they don't say anything. They don't give you any Not feedback. really, not really, you oh. know, wait till you find someone you love, whatever that means, I don't know. Okay. I love, love and like people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, boil your question down for me. So, what, how, what, I mean, I don't even understand, it's, my body's starting to change, I, I don't know how to dress, how to... Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm a, I don't want to get pregnant. I'm a girl, you know, and but I don't know what, what I, you know, just what should, what should I do? Should I kiss people? Should I be sexual with them? What, what does that do to me? Is that a good idea? A bad idea? Um, big questions. And you said you're 13, right? Yes. What's uh, tell? Give me a name. Give me a name so that I can sort of. Nadim. Nadim. Nadim, what a lovely name. Thank you. So, so you're not sure about how you want to share intimacy and yes, I don't even affection know what, what and sexuality? Yeah, I don't people, even know right? what, what those words, intimacy, I think. Affection, I think I know affection, right? Is it, you know, yeah. like nice. Intimacy, I don't know what that means. Sexuality, mm -hmm. I, whether, you know, what is it? You know, I see pictures mm -hmm. in the movies. Mm -hmm. is what, what? So what, what do you want? To do, if you know, I mean, this is a general question. I think I'd like to. Like. I'd like to find out what what it's about. Even if I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And, and well, the, you're either the guys want to teach me. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you're at an exciting age. Yes. Where a lot of people who are your age are like finding out. Yes, I want to find you know? out too. Um, girls or boys? That's it. You could nowadays you can be with girls. I don't, how do I know? Yeah. Who, yeah. who do I want to be with? Or should I just experiment? I'm not someone who can tell you what you should or shouldn't do. That's not my role as a therapist. Oh. Right? Um, but what I can do for you is help you clarify what it is that you want and maybe help you think about some choices that you hadn't considered before and um, some considerations that you maybe hadn't thought of before. I, um, you sound excited to explore. Yes. And I'm also wondering, have you thought about um, both the sort of the exciting possibilities that could come from exploring, and also the the risks that can come yeah, from exploring. Yeah, I know. And I don't do the safety stuff. Pregnant? Yes. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and it's all it's important to you can think things through very carefully ahead of time, or you can follow your nose. Um, you know, and finding some balance between the two, whatever that balance is for you, is a good way to go. Um, but I'm not the person who's going to tell you what your balance needs to be. 
So what would be one practical thing you can tell me for, I mean, there's a lot of guys and, yeah. you know, they want to, they'll probably fuck and stuff. And I, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And you can speak as sort of like openly. Oh, and good, yes. Like as so, you want about that, that's so, fine. So, um, and I don't know if I, that sounds a little too gross. It's not what you want to do. I don't think so. I think I would like okay. to be with, not, you know, have someone that... Maybe that's my parents say, someone that I, I, I'm, I love and like to touch. Is there anybody who you feel like that about now? Um, there's several people in class. There's uh-huh. a guy and a girl. And, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that would, I, yes, that would be nice. I, I, I hard to, I'm glad that my parents brought me here. Mm-hmm. Really glad. And so it's huh. even saying it, even saying this much to you is helpful. Yeah, and I got to say, for a th- 13, you said you were 13, right? Yes. N- Nadine? Yes. To be so upfront at you know the age of 13 is really, um, is really impressive. There are a lot of 13-year-olds who have trouble being as sort of honest and oh, well, thank you. straightforward about this stuff. So it sounds like this sounds exciting, that I can just experiment and come back to you probably if I have questions about what mm-hmm. to do if someone's pushing... Right, I don't want them push me to do stuff I don't want to do, right? I don't want to... Some people probably will want things that you don't want. And how right? will I know? And I just feel it? What? Oh, that's a good question. How will you know, I guess, is a good question to talk about, but one thing that I would encourage you to do is to... Um, I guess here's a question that I have for you. How comfortable are you saying no? I think that's an important question to, for anybody your age exploring relationships. I thank you for that. I'm going to try to be. Mm-hmm. I, I I can I say no to my parents all the time. <laughs> no. Oh, you're way too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can say no. I can. My friends do too. No. Yeah. No, I don't want to eat that. No, I don't want. I don't want meat. Mm-hmm. I don't. Eating meat is wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I can say that. Maybe I can say that to the same thing. It with sexuality, if I don't feel like something's right, we just know. What if there's, this is just a hypothetical, what if there's somebody who you, who you have those sort of like, you know, feelings for that you'd like to be closer to, one of these several people that you were yes, thinking of? Yes, yes. And maybe the opportunity comes where you could be closer to them, you know, some, some time, some day, some evening, wherever you are. And what if that person asks you to do something and you're not sure you want to do that, but this is somebody who you think you really like. Yes. How do you handle that? Oh, thank you for the question. That uh, even the question is, uh, and maybe I don't know, because I like, I like both James, James and okay. Janine, both yeah, Janine, of okay. them, and I like to try with both of them and see. It. And I think I want to tell them. From now that you're giving me a chance to think about it, mm-hmm. I think I want to tell them that I, I'm open to exploring, but I, I want to do it slowly mm-hmm. and, and see how it feels. Is that okay with them? That's, that sounds like a, a good plan. You could do that, yeah. That feels very, yes, and good, I, thank you. It's very nice. <laughs> okay, outtake. <laughs> Any comments on this, or should we move on to the next? You're a very easy client. <laughs> oh, easy client. Okay, I'm gonna be a new client. Okay. <laughs> I think he's going into roll. Let's see what he comes up with now. Well, I'm. Ca- um, Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Nice to meet you. Come, come on in. What yeah. The, yes. Um, what brings you here today? I'm. I'm really upset about my son. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's not a boy like other boys. And. We can't talk about it. It's just like at mm. the age of twelve, he's thirteen now. Okay. It's like he pulled down the screen. Yeah. Like a, oof, yeah, we were close. We were very close. We played. Mm-hmm. We played basketball together, chess together, and now it's like, you know, you're you know you're a stranger. You're a, mm. And he's uh, he's not a guy like other guys. Mm-hmm. I I don't like that. I mean, I'm supposed to be open for that, but it's very uncomfortable. He doesn't have men friends. He hangs around with girls. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
he walks not like a guy, really. Hmm. Okay. And 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 I can't even go. Should I just bring him to you, or, or I don't know if he'd come. And I don't know what to do or say or how to act. I, I we never had this when I was growing up. Huh. So what what brought you? Why are you seeking you know to talk with a therapist now? Like why why now? Well, he's just he's. We, you know, he's become a man, he's 13, and there's bar mitzvah, <laughs> supposedly, <laughs> yes. So, you know, and he's, yeah. you know, and he's, you know, I can see he's, you know, he's getting to be a little, he's, got, you know, getting to be... A, a facial a, hair. Yeah, yeah, a little mm-hmm, bit, mm-hmm. tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Mm-hmm. And we're, s- we're stuck. Mm-hmm. So I, I mean, I could, even leaving that out, I could come to you and say, hey, is there anything I can do? This, My son just kicked me out of his life last year. So he... Kicked you out of his life last year, but leaving what out? What I mean, I we we wouldn't have to talk about the sexuality, which is also troubling me. Just okay. I, I could come to you and say he's just a regular guy. Butch is, is not his name, but I, I don't want to use his name. But um, okay. I I but but the two things of being cut. I could come to you and just say, hey, my son just pulled the lampshade on me. And I'm no longer someone. We were close, right, right. And this is very painful to me and confusing. And I don't like being with him now. And I'm supposed to be a loving, you know, open father. And I know I'm supposed to be open to these issues. So there's like two hugely separate issues. One, he's he's frozen me out of his life, mm-hmm. and two, he's looks like he's, you know, I don't want to say it, but you know, like like acting more like a, a girl. Mm-hmm. And hanging with girls and walking and and not interested in sport, you know, none of the, you know, mm-hmm, he's not mm-hmm. a, he's not a guy, and he's got the same name as me. He's junior. Mm-hmm. So you have more of a sense of connection with him. Yes, or not, but it's like right. embarrassing. I mean, I it's some part of me, I'm not going to do this. Would be like to say, okay, goodbye. I, I don't need, you know, I have friends. I don't need. This is my son, though, uh, or supposedly my son, my you know, child. I would like to say, just to support, I want to validate something that you're saying and maybe put a, a way of thinking about it to offer that. It sounds like up until a year ago, you had, in, in the way that you thought of your child, you had a son who you were close to. Yep. And you could relate really easily. Yes. And you spent a lot of time yes. together. Yes. And quality, positive, uh, yes. like heartfelt time. Yes. Yeah. And... And you've lost that, yep. or, or so it seems. Yep. Right now, who knows what the future holds? Right? Yep. And it sounds to me like you're grieving that loss. There's a grief process. Yes, I, I mean you that. could say it. I, I that word that word helps. I, I wouldn't have used that word, but that mm-hmm. I would say if I was really honest, I, I could start crying and acting like a girl. I could do the same thing. And I'm just. I couldn't and not be, you know. We weren't allowed to cry when we grew up. Uh, we. I mean, the guys that, you the know. The guys. The guys in the so Bronx. There's yep. gender that weaves its way through this yes, too, yes, right? yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. And so now I, to tell you the truth, I, you know, I know in therapy I can do this. I, I, I could cry now. Mm-hmm. Big time, or as you would say, grieve. Well, if you need to, that's this is supposed yes. to be a safe space. And yes, that's thank what you. I try to set up for so that. So I'm, Charlie, I'm, you know, I'm as confused as him, as he seems to be. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do. Just, no one ever told me this. It was hard enough to be a father when we were doing so well. <laughs> and you know what? All of that, all of that positive, affectionate, intimate time that you shared with your child, and I'm, I'm, choosing that word because I don't know exactly who and what your child is right now and wants to become and all that. I'm just being open to possibility. But all of that love that you poured into your child is 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 in there. 